Well, Gillian Wright, who plays Jean, of course, joins me now, along with Denny Bell from Macmillan Cancer Support, who advised EastEnders on the storyline, because obviously this you've got to get this right, haven't you? Yes. So you needed the, the help. Yes, yes. At first, when they asked you about this, were you... Because it's a really difficult one to tackle, isn't it? Did you have a few doubts? or? Oh, I felt... A wee um, bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt I'd been punched in the stomach when uh, it was the storyline was suggested, because I knew it was a big one, and mm. it was... Uh, it comes, you know, it carries with it a huge responsibility. So, because all of us are affected by it, that's the thing. That's everybody, right. either you're living with it, yeah, or you've lost someone, yeah, your, your family. Everybody's affected, and that's yep. why you know getting advice from someone like Danny is so so important. What were your concerns and what what were your priorities for this? What did you want to happen? Uh, we, obviously, we wanted to make sure that it was a true reflection of, of what somebody might experience. And so we worked with the researchers from the inception of the storyline to make sure that that happened. Yeah, no, that is, it's, it's so, so important, isn't it? Um, the reaction has been quite remarkable, but it really has affected people and it's got people talking about difficult subjects, which is really important. Yes, yeah, it is. And yeah. I think there are quite a few people that are very pleased that then a very end cancer storyline is being told because sure. it can quite often be confused with um, other cancers. Of course, and, yeah, um, we've talked about that before. Yeah, it is, you know, they yeah. used to call it the silent killer and yes. you've got to be really, really yes. aware. And that's another great thing, isn't it, Danny? The awareness. You know, it gets, again, as I was saying, it gets people talking about it. Absolutely. I mean, the um, and, and aligning it with um, somebody who's got an underlying mental health yeah. um, uh, diagnosis is, is really great as well, because whilst it's devastating for anyone to go through that experience of, of cancer, you just need to be a little bit more aware of the impact on someone who perhaps is living with um, a mental health long-term condition. So it's really sure. great. No, that makes sense. And sometimes, you know, we, we talk about the, the physical pain that someone's in or the physical anguish that some people are in but we don't necessarily talk about the mm. mental problems i'm sure that's something that you you experience and that you help with yeah i mean actually um awareness and being open and, and talking about yeah. cancer and mental health just being able to say so i'm not mm. doing that well and it's mm. and it's all right you know you don't have to be a warrior all the time mm. you know that's the thing in the the most one of the most moving scenes uh, that we saw was when Jean was getting her, her hair shaved. Yeah. Because obviously not always, but a lot of people have to go through that. And with her son as well, who of course has had his problems. You didn't actually we can see you didn't actually <laughs> um, do that, but it was an amazing piece of um, you know from the guys in the makeup department being able yes. to to sort that. We just saw you must have gone through hours in makeup. Uh, yes, it yeah. was um, three hours in the chair. Wow. Um, and five for the one with the the ball cap with the hair that for the shaving scene. Right. It would have been easier in some ways for you to, to shave your head, but did you not want to do um, that? I did give that a lot of yeah. thought, but there were two main reasons that I didn't go down that path. And one was logistics in terms of Rob Kaczynski, who's placed my son, um, his availability meant right. that we had to shoot that though that uh, week storyline well early in the year. I understand. So all so the stuff that I did with climbing yeah. the O2 and all, all yes, of that would yes. have been was done afterwards, which would have meant I would have had to worn a wig look, to look like me. Oh and gosh, I just thought it was a bit risky yes. at the top of the O2 and a bit windy. <laughs> and secondly, I've got um, dear friends and family who are going through or have gone through uh, treatment for cancer, and uh, some of whom have, you know lost their hair and it just didn't sit right with me I understand to do this completely. as a game of pretend. I understand yeah. that, absolutely. It's amazing what they can do though, isn't it? Isn't that it? It's absolutely, totally realistic. I know. One of the scenes that I was know. shooting with them um, with Lacey and she arrived on set, we were in the back of the ambulance and she sat there and every time I turned around she was just staring. <laughs> <laughs> but she couldn't, she was sitting no, you that can't see. and she couldn't. You no. can't see it at all. And they you talked about, about Lacey and they've been very clever right now, you know, covering up the pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. That's always a thing. Ed Edmondson is going to be joining the cast he's going to be jean's yeah perhaps significant other which would be yeah, quite nice been in, yes yeah, yeah that'd be good it was great good. actually yeah yeah no, it's good we'll look forward to that look forward to seeing him and to see what develops because well, yes it'd yeah. be news for me as well well you don't know you probably do you probably know less sometimes than yeah. we know because yeah. everybody, everybody tells us things but like i say and, and denny thank you for the work that you guys do mm. is absolutely vital it really is and it was so important to have your involvement in oh this very i mean also to have somebody at the end of the phone when i've got a script and I go hang on hang on and i need to ask a question right. as well to have somebody that i can totally rely on 
in terms of uh, answering my questions yeah, to, to shoot the scenes. scenes. Yeah. yeah, and it's really important for us because obviously we rely completely on public donations, so to have that storyline told well yeah. um, was really important because obviously we want uh, people to understand the issues that people face and how we um, try and support them. You do an amazing job. Thank, Thank you. you very, very much indeed. Mm -hmm. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming in. Poor wee Jean. Poor <laughs> wee Jean. We want her to get better. We want her to get happy. We want her to have some good times in her life. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah.